Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to share a rules overview and review of Taco Bell Party Pack card game. It's ages 8 and up, 2 to 6 players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to get the most points. You get points by using your meal cards to, in order to collect these crew cards that are out in the center, the center of the board along with craving chips. For game setup, each player, we have a two player game set up here. Each player is dealt 10 cards. There are six crew cards placed out in the center of the board, regardless of how many players you're playing with. And then there are three craving chips placed out for each player playing. And the numbers on those can be anything between one, two, three, or four. Uh, it is random though, and you do not know what the numbers are on these chips. I'm going to go ahead and flip over these meal cards, even though you keep them a secret from your opponents during the game. Uh, whoever most uh, recently ate at Taco Bell gets to go first, or you just have the youngest player go first. And all you do on your turn is first, if you have an action card, you can play it. Uh, you can play up to one per turn. So this person has uh, tacos every day and they get to draw two meal cards unless it's Tuesday. If it's Tuesday, you get to draw five meal cards. Uh, it's not Tuesday. They're going to just draw two. And then your second choice on your turn is you either get to make a Taco Bell run where you discard any number of cards from your hand and then draw cards until you have 10. You don't do that unless you're very low on cards or you get to feed your crew. So you're going to pick one of these cards to collect. Uh, they're going to choose, um, collect, uh, it, this one, which requires any three menu items. And they're going to choose these three, and I'll show you why. Uh, cravings. Some of the cards have cravings on the bottom. And those, if you play the card, you can tell even if it doesn't look exactly the same here, they have the same um, item at the bottom. So this was a Crunchwrap Supreme. Uh, if you use that, you get to not only collect this card, you get to pick one of these cravings chips and you take it and you look at it, you don't share your opponent and they got an additional two points. So they would keep that face down over here and then they'd flip up another card and their turn is over. It's now the next player's turn. You go clockwise. So it's this person's turn. They're also, they have an action card. So they're going to go ahead and play this. This is choose a menu item. If they had one in your hand, each player must give you one of these. Not that helpful in a two-player game, but it can be really great if you're playing with a bunch of people. And so we'll say they're going to pick the uh, crunchy taco. So if this person has any crunchy tacos, they give them one. Oh, they didn't have any, so they didn't get any extra cards. Uh, and so now there are some sauces you can choose to use on your turn. And you play those with your um, other cards when you're feeding your crew. So they have the really great one, which is Diablo, where you get to choose a menu item. All me menu items you play that turn count as the chosen menu item. They have a few crunchy tacos, but they want to have five because they're going to choose Diablo and all of these. Then they get to um, collect the Supreme Super Fan card and they get the craving for that because you had to have matching, five matching menu items and they had it be the correct one. So they collect that. Ooh, they got four points. That's pretty great. So they keep that a secret from their opponent. And then you just keep on going back and forth. So this one, this person would probably purchase another item on their turn. They would have flipped this back out. And they probably would pick another item on their turn. And then when you get low on cards, we'll say a couple more turns has happened, have happened. Um, so this person has gotten another item or two. We'll say um, there was no craving on that one. This person got this one and they would have gotten the craving for that. And they would have used all their cards. Uh, mild uh, sauce, you get to use this card as any menu item. So that's pretty great too. So then when it's time, if you've used up all your cards or sometimes here, we'll say they should have had a couple cards left. So you have two cards left, but that's not enough to get any of these. So at that point you can discard as many as you like. Um, they're not going to, they want to go ahead and keep them. 
and they're going to then draw back up to 10 cards. So they have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then that's it for their turn. They don't get to get any of these cards out here. And then this person does the same thing on their turn. Clearly they have no cards to play. So they would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, they wouldn't show each other the cards. And you just keep on going like this until all of these craving chips are gone. Then you tally up your score and whoever has the most points is the winner. So that's how to play the Taco Bell Party Pack card game. The target demographic for this game is it's a family game. I would say specifically geared towards uh, middle school or high school kids just because of the theme. Uh, the rule complexity is easy. It's a really nice set collection game. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to teach it to anybody, whether they've played a lot of games or just not very many, which is nice. Uh, how competitive? It's medium. There's only one winner. There's uh, like one or two bad cards where you can play against somebody else, especially where you're skipping someone's turn. That can uh, be a little bit of a divisive thing to play during the game, but uh, there's enough other things to make up for that. Uh, the specialty cards that you can get that it doesn't seem too bad, even if somebody's trying to get a particular person in the game. So it's it's the theme, it it's feels like a pretty chill game night, and so that's kind of how the gameplay works. Uh, the replay value is medium. Uh, it's a fun game, especially if you were playing this over like a Taco Tuesday and you pulled this game out, it would be really fun. But this isn't going to be your go-to Friday night strategy game that you're gonna pull out every week, which is okay. Uh, it's, it's a fun game for a certain demographic and and it's and it's quick and easy to play which is what it's going for similar games if you like this there is a pushing the cat perfect pick card game that is very similar in gameplay but just has a very different theme uh so if you're more into pushing the cat than taco bell uh you should run and get that one instead and if you like this game but you'd like to play something with a little more uh strategy involved Splendor is a set collection uh, game with like a jewel themed that just uh, that everyone uh, seems to enjoy. Uh, there's also a Marvel themed version of Splendor and those games, Splendor is one that you could get out every Friday night and play over and over and over again. It's just an exceptional game and it's a lot of fun. But if you want some Taco Bell in your life and you need a card game version of it, uh, you should check out the Taco Bell Party Pack card game. It's a lot of fun. So thank you so much, and we'll see you next time from Game Like a Mother.